Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Rieding. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you the most important things about our UMS Administrator. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will show you where to find our UMS Administrator. Then we will go over the most important setting points. And at the last step, I will show you how to backup and restore the settings from the Administrator. How to find our UMS Administrator? After the installation, you will see UMS console on the desktop, but no UMS administrator. Just go to, to your start menu, to all programs, and here we find Universal Management Suite 5. Under Universal Management Suite 5, we will find UMS administrator. In the Universal Management Suite administrator, you have the possibility to do some basic settings to our web server, to our UMS server and all this stuff. First beginning here on the first page is the port settings. So we can change the server port, the GUI server port, the JVS port and the database port for the embedded database. So nearly all ports that we know from our Agile world. But what we cannot change is the port 30005. That's the port that is opened on our thin client and it's hard coded to the thin client. But all the other ports we can change here if we want to. Also, you can check the box for allowing SSL connections only, and then our web server will only be available with 8443 in this case and not on 9080. Then we can specify some scanning parameters when the timeout is and uh, which is a broadcast IP. More interesting is, I think, that you can change the timeout for the online check from our management server to the thin client. So if you have a VPN connection to the thin clients and the delay is longer than 100 milliseconds for the ICMP package, then it can be a good idea to change the timeout value here. Most of the settings that we had in the UMS administrator are gone uh, or have moved into the Universal Management Suite console. So if we take a look in these tabs here, they all are gone. But something interesting is the other settings tab. Here we have two really interesting checkboxes. So if we want to change the host name of our clients and we just change it in our UMS console and on a default installation, you will see that the host name will not be changed. It's only the name in our management database. If you want to change the host name, if you change the name in our management database, you have to check the second box here, adjust network name if the UMS internal name has been changed. And also we have the way back. So if you have a dynamic host name generation with a DHCP or DNS server, and you want to display this name also in our management server, just check the first box to change the internal name if the network name has been changed. Also important is the last box here, automatic registration. So if you set up your DNS server, for example, that he has Agile RM server pointing to the IP address of the server, or if you send the DHCP tag 224, to the thin client with the information about the Agile RM server, then the first boot on the first boot of a new thin client, he will scan in the network if there is a UMS, and if there is a UMS specified with DNS or DHCP, and the box is checked, then the thin client will be automatically registered to the UMS. And if you configured some rules, maybe based on an IP address, you can just move automatically the thin client into a subfolder and then he gets his configuration and stuff like this. Now let's take a look to certificates. That's a really important topic. During the installation of our Universal Management Suite, we generated a certificate that is used for the communication between thin client and management server. If you now lose your management server for any reason and you don't have a backup, after setting up a new one, you will recognize that you cannot manage the thin clients because you don't have the correct certificate. And the only way to solve this at this moment is 
you have to go to every thin client and to delete the certificate manually. To avoid this, you can export the certificate before a worst case disaster is happening. So just go on certificates and say save certificate, put it somewhere into your backup, into your save, whatever, uh, where you will find it in a worst case scenario. So I will just save it as UMS certifi certificate. This certificate will last for a long time so you don't have to care for a new certificate or anything else. Please back up the certificate in the beginning if you're starting with IGIL. Put it somewhere where you will find it if your UMS server is lost and then you are happy if a worst case scenario happened to you, you have the certificate and then you can manage all the thin clients in your network. Of course, you also can restore the certificate here. So if you have a clean install and you want to manage other thin clients that you already have managed, just click on restore and take a look to the key store file that you have exported before. Of course, also we are able to handle a lot of different database systems. So on default, we are installing our management server with an embedded database, but you can easily switch to another database system. Just go on data source, click on add, and then you have the possibility to choose between Oracle, SQL, PostgreSQL, whatever you want. For example, we'll go here for an SQL server. You have to specify the username and the schema name and you just can add it to our management server. If you want to prepare the database on the SQL server for the IGEL management suite, just take a look to our eDocs and there is information how to create the database. If you did this, if you have the use of the database, everything is created, you can just say, okay, please copy the information from the RM database uh, to the SQL server. After this, just activate the new database and everything is switched. So not a lot of trouble. We can take care about moving the information from one system to the another system. And so everything is fine. Also here, if you are using the embedded database, you can change the master password for the database user if you want to. You can get access to an SQL console and also you can run an optimized script for the database. If you use our embedded database, you also can use our backup tool here to do a manual backup of your database. Just click on create, give it a name. And then in this backup, it will have the embedded database and also a copy of the certificate. So this is enough to have a whole backup of your UMS for restoring everything. Restoring a backup is really easy. Just click the backup and say restore, say yes. And then the backup is rolling back to the backup you have specified here for the restore. The last step that you can save and where you can do a backup is the settings of the UMS administrator here. This you can do just clicking on file and export server configuration. Here you can save all the stuff and use for restore in a worst case scenario. So thanks for your attention. If you have any questions regarding the UMS administrator, feel free to contact our pre-sales support or to take a look in the IGEL eDocs. Have a nice day.